Have you ever wondered why some people just seem happier, more fulfilled, and less affected by life's little annoyances? Well, today I'm going to unravel the secret reason why, and I'll show you how you too can lead a much happier, more fulfilling life. This is all about your ongoing journey of developing and evolving as a person by working on your self-actualization and how focusing on these aspects can drastically improve your mental health. So let's talk about personal evolution. Hi, I'm Jeremy Godwin and I teach you how to look after your mental health with weekly videos and longer episodes of my weekly podcast, Let's Talk About Mental Health. Today, I'm looking at how to evolve and grow by actively working on your self-actualization. So, what is self-actualization? It's about achieving your full potential, becoming the best version of yourself possible, and continuously working on your growth and personal evolution. And believe it or not, this journey isn't just about feeling good. It's about developing a healthier, more positive outlook on yourself and the world around you. So, let's talk about why self-actualization matters for good mental health. And the thing is that working on yourself and looking to achieve your full potential helps you feel much more positive and satisfied in life, which leads to better mental health. By working on your growth and evolution, you cultivate a deeper sense of purpose, confidence, and self-love. This strengthens your resilience to life's challenges and reduces anxiety and worry about the little things that can often bog us down. Essentially, it empowers you to feel better about yourself. And when we're at peace with ourselves, our outlook on the world naturally becomes more positive too. So now I'm going to share with you five practical ways to embark on your own self-actualization journey. They're simple, effective, and you can start implementing them today. Let's dive right in with... Tip 1. Self-reflection. Which simply means taking time to understand your thoughts, emotions, and actions. Why does it matter? Well, understanding your inner workings helps you identify what's important to you, where you need to grow, and what to let go of. And how can you do it? Start by setting aside a few minutes each day to write in a journal or meditate, focusing on your thoughts and feelings. It's a small step with a big impact. Tip two, goal setting, which means defining clear, achievable objectives that align with your dreams and values. That's important because goals give you a direction, a why, a sense of purpose. Write down your goals, break them into small steps, and regularly review and adjust them. Remember, the journey matters just as much as the destination, and over time, small steps add up to big results. Tip three, healthy relationships. And this isn't just about having people around you. It's about nurturing meaningful connections that make you feel loved, respected, and genuinely supported. Healthy relationships boost your self-esteem, offer comfort, and ultimately help you to feel happier. To develop healthy relationships, communicate openly, show others empathy and understanding, and choose to be around people who inspire and uplift you. Remember, you may not be able to change the people around you, but you can change the people around you. Tip 4. Emotional Intelligence, which is the ability to understand and manage your emotions and those of others. Why is that crucial? Because emotional intelligence helps you respond rather than react to situations, which improves your relationships and resilience. You can improve your emotional intelligence many ways, including practicing mindfulness, working on your self-awareness and empathy, and if you can, seeking feedback from other people. Tip 5. Develop resilience. And I mentioned this one in the last point, but it's worth exploring more on its own because it's about learning how to bounce back from setbacks and how to grow through challenges. Resilience builds inner strength and adaptability, making your self-actualization journey smoother. 
choose to treat failures as lessons, actively practice realistic optimism, and maintain a problem-solving mindset by turning your focus from the problem towards potential solutions. So there you have it, five practical steps towards a happier, more fulfilled life. Remember, self-actualization isn't a destination. It's a continuous journey. And every small step you take towards understanding yourself better and focusing on your personal growth has a huge impact. Now, it's over to you. Let me know in the comments which tips you're going to apply and why, and you'll find more tips for working on your personal growth and evolution in the latest episode of the Let's Talk About Mental Health podcast, and it's linked in the episode description. Thanks so much for joining me today. Take care and talk to you next time. Become a paid supporter on Spotify or Patreon for ad-free content and early episode access. They're linked in the episode description. And I talked before about not getting bogged down by the little things in life. And I show you how to do that in this video. So watch that next and subscribe to my channel for new videos every Sunday.